Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episodes 5 and 6 of Amagami SS. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. What well, damn, Tachiwana, we just doing this again? I do like the fact that we're getting different angles from this. But once again, as I said, how in the world can you top... How how can Kaoru do? Because Kaoru is the next girl, right? How... Ooh, damn. Why don't you join me? Come on. Like I said, um, how are how is Kaoru going to top Mori? Because like I said, Mori's was the best freaking storyline. Even though it's been two weeks. Two weeks since I last, um, did the last episode and such. I don't really want to talk about everything that's happening in my life. Some good, some bad. I'm, I'm in a little... I don't want to say the D word mode. I'm in, like, a sad mode. Uh, everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Let's just say that. And it's been eating away at me and such. These last couple of weeks for me in a nutshell have been very hellish, in my opinion, and very tough. And there have been times where I have truly wanted to cry. Um, and there are days where I've kind of lost, like, my quote-unquote spark and such. And it gets me truly upset. And then I get into this rut. And I, I hate it. it it's just... Being an adult, once again, is complicated as fuck, and sometimes I wish I still was a fucking kid again. As much as I love being an adult for so many different reasons and shit, I wish I was a kid again, and I wish I didn't have to stress about so many other things. I'll probably make a video about this, or I'll have this come out tomorrow and such. Um, but yeah. <sighs> so, I, I just want to say I'm sorry. Girl, really? <laughs> Something tells me when they do get married and their four episodes a little bit, it's just gonna be nothing but jokes. <laughs> You're so cruel. I didn't mean to knock that over. Well, yeah. 
That's okay. I mean, it'll be a date, but it'll just be the three of y'all. It wouldn't be awkward. I mean, besides, neither one of you are dating her. Yet. Oh, come on! So, you make it a threesome. Duh. Right? Well, yes, we know, but still, you don't gotta be... Oh, damn. No! Well, <laughs> she punched you because, you know, you saw the look. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, how do? <laughs> uh huh. Are we doing the confession now? Like, now, now? This is why, boys, this will always be in your dreams. 
There is no fucking way a girl, especially during class and it should be like, yes, let me just walk out in a half ass button shirt ish. Girl, what the hell? Once again, boys have the vivid, most, like, adorable fantasies. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> Once again, the way y'all fucking giggle over, like, yes, I love me some thick ass whatever. It's so cute. <laughs> oh. Were you reading one of your... Because <laughs> you think you better get the hella good ass confession with the guck guck 9000, which I don't think that's going to happen today. Oh, no. It's just going to be Kaoru. It's not going to be anything sexy. No confession. Probably just a talk. No kiss. Oh. <laughs> this is why, boys. Don't, don't think about some things, but some fantasies. Don't always think about dirty thoughts. Because sometimes your dirty thoughts will, you know, always trick you. And the next thing you know, when the real situation comes, you're like, damn, I wish. Okay. A month? No, that's not a weird advice, sweetie. It's just, you know. Mm. 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 Okay. Honestly, yes, that is a little lame, but I mean, hey, it, it's very much old fashioned.
<laughs> you just don't remember? It looked good, though. Y'all saw that chemistry. Good shit. Right? And you know what? Money makes the world go mother effing round. And I like to have money. Oh, That's so sweet. This is going to end with him, like, with him giving her everything that she really wants. Even though she's going to probably earn most of it by herself. But at the same time, he will definitely help her too. Oh, yeah, 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 it's fine. If it was money, girl, you have a problem. Right now, no. True. I say the same thing about my job. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Or just try any part time job. Okay, you're getting something to eat. Really? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, because you were staring at it for a very long time.
Oh no! Well, the nerves, the tingles, the thing. Tomorrow, there will be some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 90 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 75 degrees. Thanks, babe. definitely see the chemistry with them it is strong i think you know once we see once we get past like kaoru as well we'll see that every relationship tachibana has with each girl is strong uh, i still like i already know the one that i'm not really going to like is when the sister situation comes up that's gonna probably be my least favorite episode and i am dreading that episode dearly um, so I hope that's the last one so that I can just be here being like, why the fuck? Are you, why? Why are we doing this? Like, why? Oh my God. Um, but no, Kaoru definitely, um, kind of reminds me of, I, I literally do not remember her name and I can't look on my phone because my phone is on my bed. Um, you remember the, oh my God, um. The girl from Monogatari who wore shorts under her skirt, I think her name was Kamaru, um, she gives hella vibes to her. Like, you can see, because, of course, one, the sportiness of her, um, she's very jokey. She doesn't really take everything almost seriously, in a way, so you can see how they're very similar, somewhat, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Every girl that you're going to meet is fucking different and such. You're not going to meet someone. What, what, 9 out of 10, you may meet someone who is exactly like you. I will say that. Sometimes you can have that with your significant other. Sometimes it's the best thing. You never really know what the hell you're going to meet in the game of fucking life and love. Yeah, bro, you were crazy. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, okay. It, it, <laughs> with the first, first two episodes of Homeboy, literally kissing Mori, like, lower between her thigh and everything, like, that was nuts. And then him in this episode looking at <laughs> Kaoru's thigh is like, girl, Boy, are you serious? Like, damn, I, you know, once again, I would love to have a conversation with one of my guy friends and be like, what is y'all thing with thighs? Now, I know as a girl, and essentially with, like, my perfume such, they say that it's, like, if you put it around, like, your most, like, triggering moments, so, like, your wrists, your neck, um, somewhere around, like, mainly in between your boobs and such, like, upper, in the midsection of your boobs, um, and your thighs. Y'all go fucking nuts for that shit. I don't know about y'all girls, but guys, y'all go fucking nuts for that. Hella fucking nuts. Like, damn. Y'all be acting like y'all ain't gay. Like, y'all in a fucking desert and y'all hadn't had water in ages. Like, I mean, I'm not mad at that and such. See, now I just want to flirt with a guy. <laughs> I just want to flip with a guy around my age. That's all I want to do right now. But no, they're very cute together. I love how, once again, as I said two weeks ago, we're going into, yes, um, the best girl of the show to the best friend of the show. And it's like, how can you do, how can a relationship between two, a guy and a girl without it being platonic, but eventually going into a relationship work? But I do love the fact that it's like, he's like, oh yeah, I thought you were going to confess to me or something. And 
that's when she's like over here like oh shit like I'm getting feelings for this dude and, and that's happened to all of us I think the last time that ha that I maybe fell for a friend um oh shit <laughs> <laughs> there, it, okay it was two um this is high this both of this was high school DJ so I, I had a friend I have a friend that I've known for a pretty long time like I think until I was maybe in uh, we were we known each other mainly due to a, the fact is like my dad and his dad were friends in the military um so I was always like kind of going over her house and stuff like especially when you are someone who grew up into the military you're gonna make friends with other people really quick and then nine out of ten when you get out of it your friendship um out of the military and such uh it'll continue and such and that's you know very sweet i haven't talked to him in a long ass time but i think because our okay so the thing was our age gap was like a year i believe um and especially even like high school standards and such because he graduated like i think a year after no a year before me because I, I he was 20 yeah he was 2011 and i was 2012 um and such and i didn't like genuinely think of him as like oh I could see him as a potential because like I have a preference and he was not my preference and such because uh anytime when I look at him I instantly get reminded of my dad or um ish and I don't like that I really don't and it tur it turns me way off and I'm like no I don't want someone who literally looks like my dad and such and mind you he had like the, the guy had hair but still every time I listen I'm like no <laughs> no um but i did have feelings for him but I, I did see that he was also a player and such just as much as typical guys are today now the other guy um this was my f freshman and sophomore year of high school and he, he was really cute. He was, like, one of the girls or anything. Like, you know how, like, when you can tell a guy pretty much anything? Or, guys, you know how you can tell a girl pretty much anything and such? That's how it kind of really felt with me and this dude. And mind you, there was one time where I went on vacation with my family, and I was texting this guy. And, you know, before I had an iPhone, I was still having, like, flip phones. And um, then I went to touch screen phones and such. Mind you, during that freaking road trip from Florida to Philadelphia... I used up all my minutes as a talk to this fucking boy and such, um, which was fucking nuts. And it got to the point that I had to literally tell my uncle on my mom's side <laughs> to buy me more minutes and such. And I had to explain why I ran out of minutes. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. <laughs> it really was. But no, but uh, I mean, the, the sad thing about, or really the, the good thing about that friendship slash, you know, in the end, he, he turned me down, um, because he wanted to get back with his ex. And then the following year, you know, later he was, yeah, if you understand that, I don't need to tell you without telling you. And then plus the month we are in right now. And so I was, I was still always like cheering on him for him. He's, he's currently married and I'm still happy for him and such. And that's the same thing all of my other friends were. It's like, oh my god, all my friends are married and having kids. And then look at me, single DJ. Ha ha ha. But I, I still, I don't look at a single, me being single as a, as a curse and saying that. Because like my first, like I said, my first relationship with somebody online and such, um, I don't look at it as a bad thing. But at the same time, where it's like, some people will like say, oh, I consider that like a red flag since you only had like a couple of relationships stuff well uh, unfortunately i was one of those that at the time when i was in high school and even now sometimes depending on my mood i really didn't care about not only my appearance and stuff um i wasn't really looking for love i was focused on me myself and i and stuff and so and everybody gets like that i i felt like i didn't get my peakness um until around like my senior year and such like yeah I mean look at me like I'm, I'm a <clears throat> I'm a good ass bad ass bitch <laughs> even when I'm trying to be like serious and funny and shit like that but I am very sweet and such 
do I think I'm gonna find my guy? Like, I'm gonna find him in the fucking house. I know that. Like, my mom has told me, people have told me, and I'm like, tr- stop triggering me. But, yeah. I get it. Once again, they cute. They fucking adorable. Um, I'm just wondering how this is going to go, because she's already slowly but surely getting her feelings. Tajibana's over here. He's like, iffy. But, it's coming. Yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Alrighty, episode six and, <clears throat> excuse me, and three, two, one, go. Nothing's wrong with you about that, Connor. You're just getting regular girl feelings. But just because he was a buddy in middle school doesn't mean, like, you you probably had romantic feelings for him then. Mm-hmm. You're not a girl anymore. You're a woman. Huh. It's okay, sweetie. Uh, no, 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 you are, you are, you are, you are. <laughs> okay all right all right his sister is gonna be second to last of the of the first four we saw okay okay i'm not still ready for it though because god I, I just uh please please when we do get to the sister Make it short and sweet. Do not make me be attached to her. I swear to God. I already like her now. She's adorable and such. But I, I'm just, I, I don't want to see it. I, I It's going to remind me of the fucking, um, my little sister isn't this cute or some shit like that. And then, you know, being one of those where I was like, oh my god, like, I'm rooting for him to date all these other characters. He's not gonna date his sister. And then we get to the end of the damn show. Ah! We'll see when we get there. I know, like, the person who requested this, he was like, oh, it's it's not going to be like this, da, 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 da. and I'm just over here like, uh-huh, I hope not. Don't make me bleach my eyebrow. <laughs> bleach my eyebrows. Bleach my eyebrows when we get to it.
That's right. I mean, damn, right out of the blue. Damn, Tachibana. Right. What do you call a friendship first relationship? Mm hmm Yeah, so what are we? Yeah, like, you don't think about her in that way at all?
Meaning, you know, hey, she's gonna find a way to make you fall in love with her. Duh. Well, damn, if that's what the first kiss is like, I mean, mm. <laughs> of course you would. I love how this is going, and then the music, the music reminds me of, like, a 90s anime and such, I'm like, oh, like, okay, you remember the show Big O? Oh my god, oh, I love that show so much. Not the pervy hands.
Oh my god! Is there something on me? <gasps> Did I scratch myself? Oh my god! Yeah, come on, big boy. Show me what you got. <laughs> no, don't get nervous now. Right, because anyone can literally come in and be like, Hey, yo, what y'all two doing? Oh, not the badminton.
Nice. Well, you know, this is the kindness of her heart. Ah, That's something they're going to do when they're married. Now, something tells me one of two things or one of three things will happen. So... <laughs> Because you like her. <laughs> you fucking kids. Oh my god. Okay, something tells me that, okay, so the restaurant that she works at, like, she said that is her family restaurant in a way, right? So, something tells me when she does get older and she is married to Tachi Bono, one, they're going to, you know, have that as, like, their source of income. Like, that's where they're both possibly going to work. They're gonna always go on walks. Like, that, that is gonna be their thing and such and they're always going to joke around because that is also their thing whatever a couple or like whatever you bring into a relationship you know especially when you're boyfriend and girlfriend nine out of ten that is going to be the exact same thing you're going to do when you're a married couple but i do feel for her yes you're seeing your mom going out on a date and you're wondering who the hell this man is because it's always been you two you and your mom inseparable just being, you know, two women in a house together trying to figure out life and such and dealing with the consequences of everyday life and dealing with all the bullshit and everything just as much as anybody else is doing. But I get it. She feels like her mom is possibly leaving her. And, and you know, that's not cool. No, nobody wants that. Guy, girl, whoever, you know. Because if it's always been you two and somebody else comes in, you don't like that. I didn't like that, you know, I'm like, uh... Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Yep, give me a moment. I didn't like it when my parents went through that situation and they it's been, you know, about a good couple of years since they separated and such. And so I think the first couple of years of my mom going out with other men and such, I was, psh, I didn't like it. Um, just as much as any other kid will, because you're very much like, you, you have this family and you want this for you and such, but at the end of the day, it's not really about you, it's about your parents and such. Um, and any potential guy that she was trying to like, you know, make something with, um, I lifted them sideways. I got angry. I'm like, I, like, I, I'm looking at every guy the way I look at guys now. Like, I give two about you and such it, it's about okay like if you want to talk about me you gotta make me feel good you gotta make me feel right and anytime when if <laughs> if something 
If I got, because I, I got to meet one. I didn't like him. Y- you know how you have, like, weird feelings and such? Um, and sometimes this weird feeling ends up couldn't be true. Yeah. Let's just say it was like that. I'm not going to go too de- in-depth into it. But, yeah. I-, I can get how she is very much like, what the fuck is this? I got to be hella defensive when it comes to a potential new person coming into both of our lives because this can change our life for the good or for the bad. Just, you never know. You never fucking know about anything. And that's why a lot of kids are very defensive when it comes to single parents and such. And because we want the best for them. And we still want them to go out and date and such. There's nothing wrong with that. But every person that comes into it, we looking like, A, what the fuck you gonna do? B, if I have to, you know, I got this, I got that. Like, yeah, you do something, that's it for your motherfucker. We protect our parents just as much as our parents protect us. Moral of the story. But I, I don't know how Kaoru is going to potentially confine into Tachibana about this because something tells me she is going to tell him about it and be like, yeah, my mom's dating someone and I'm a little skeptical about that. So I wonder how that conversation is going to go going into the next two episodes for 7 and 8. And then, of course, their confession of their love and what they're going to be like in the future and such. I think that's going to be really good. But, yeah, 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 surprise my little outcome for these first two episodes. So, literally start from, yes, the best friend being jokey jokey. And now we're getting into a very serious, heavy moment for her. And I'm really enjoying that. Like, damn. I mean, you know, I'm going to say this. Uh, when we get to the end of this, all the girls overall, I think that's when I'll do the ranking of how I felt about each girl and each story. Yes, I got, like, I, you already know Morty is probably going to be at one. That It could change. Anything can change from now until the end of this when I'm done. But we'll see. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 5 and 6 of Omegami oh SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for everyone else. And next Saturday for my Patreons for episodes 7 and 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.